This is George Gray reporting for Because, and we are here on the Holiday House Decorating Tour. We're going to check out a bunch of houses that have gotten themselves in the holiday spirit here in Schaumburg. Let's go check some of them out right now. I've got two of my friends, Teresa and Cheryl here, and they are enjoying the Holiday House decorating tour and the balmy temperatures. Ladies, how's the tour gone so far? What do you think si about sizing up this competition? I think every single one of the houses looks fantastic. They all put in a lot of effort and you could tell they enjoy doing it. But the one that I like the best is the one that when you get off the bus and you get up close, it still looks fantastic. So. From a distance, they all look the same, but when you get up close, that's when you can tell the difference between an outstanding display and uh, just a good display. You're like an NFL analyst on holiday house decorating. That was awesome. Tell me, so what is your favorite thing to see? What is something, I'm a big white, I'm a big white light guy. I like just white lights. I think that looks really pretty. What, what's something that you really like? Um, what I like is, um, I like it all because it, it anything that reflects christmas and, and the spirit of christmas is really what is is what you're looking for i'm not a big fan of the blow-up ones because that's kind of like cheating to me so anything that has a lot of the blow-up ones i'm not really a big fan of anything that you can tell they put a lot of effort into it is is really what i enjoy the most all right did you hear that all you fans of inflatable holiday decorations we're coming after you right no no no, no just flew in from Florida, so I'm not really enjoying this weather. No, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get used to it. What about you? What's something, what do you love about it, Cheryl? Um, all the different colors and just all the different um, displays, um, the, the sounds, the smells. <laughs> all right. I, don't know, I guess I smell good. I don't know. <laughs> smells cold to me. So that's it from the Holiday House Decorating Tour. we got another house or two to check out. Let's go see them. We're out here with one of the homeowners of 44 Kingsport. This is Bruce Bettard. Bruce, tell us about your property and your display here. I'm not sure what to tell you. If you take the photographs, you're going to see. This is just one of those works in progress. We've been here since 1984, and we started with six soldiers, and then every year we expand. We have more this year than we had last year, and we'll probably have more for next year as well. So back in 1984, when you put six soldiers, 
Uh, was the plan to keep expanding, or how did this become uh, such a labor of love? It's very addictive, and and we have a lot of fun with it. You know, again, we might have might have had Santa out here, but Santa will be out here this Friday and Saturday. So um, I'm sorry, next Friday and Saturday, but. We have fun doing it, and as long as we have fun, we're going to keep doing it. All right, so what's the new piece this year? What's something new that if people have been out here before? Well, let's see. We just expanded. We've got the benches for – we've got the Penguins playing volleyball. Notice that. I, th I thought the benches were new. And you notice the new Penguins out there, they got a brand new – they're clean. And yeah. Yeah, that's the guys that are on the bench. Yeah, those are rookies. Yeah, yeah they haven't gotten – into playing time yet. These guys are all dinged up. Weathered. They've been diving on the floor. Veterans. So I built them a bench and got, the, got them there, and we have these little – uh, snowmen that are out here as well. Those are new for this year, and one additional elf. So, I think that I think that might be it for this year in terms of new stuff. All right. Well, uh, what's your uh, what's your favorite part? What's the hardest part to uh, construct or put up? Nothing's really hard to put up. It just each one of them takes a bit of time. The the PVC fence to keep people from getting in the in the property takes a bit to get up. But everything is just a piece. We work on the choir. Choir's done. We work on the stand for Santa and Mrs. Santa, and now that's done. We just work on them one piece at a time, and then we go back and start filling in everything after that. And when does construction start? It used to be Thanksgiving weekend, but now it's middle of Thanksgiving, middle of November. Uh, first of November, we bring it all around, get it all tested, and then by middle of November, we have to start installing to get it ready. And when does it all come down? Uh, when it thaws out in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> now, if that's January, it comes down in January. If that's February, it comes down in February. Well, it's an awesome display. It's definitely one we look forward to coming by. We appreciate you being a part of the the, uh, the competition, but I know it's more just uh, for people to see it. It's not really about a competition, no, right? It's for the fun. All right. Well, it looks like a lot of fun, and we appreciate it a lot. So keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And happy holidays. Everybody have a Merry Christmas. All right, so that wraps it up from the Holiday House decorating tour. Saw some awesome decorations, some really cool houses, some fantastic light shows. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of expensive electric bills come January. This is George Gray for The Because Show. Happy Holidays.